What's up, y'all? What is up? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica, but you can call me EJ. And y'all, I am back with another P Valley review. Now, today we are going to be breaking down season two, episode five, the trailer. Now, y'all, I already know we still reeling from episode four, and we all still talking about it because they had a lot going on in that episode but we're gonna go ahead and move on to episode five but before we do please go ahead and turn on your notifications like this video if you like and most importantly do not forget to subscribe to your girl channel now let's get into it you're not alone tomorrow we start another two weeks home well, i gotta get home no 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 what you gonna do is get this money you have not been with these kids for two weeks. Who's putting food on the table? I'm taking care of you. Okay, y'all, so that's what's up with the trailer. Now, look, it's, it appears that this episode is going to be all about Mississippi for the most part. Now, I did actually have to go read the synopsis for this one because when I first looked at the trailer, I was like, what the heck is going on? Like, who is this? What is, what is this and what is that? So I was like, let me just go read the synopsis for it. But the synopsis was actually pretty short, and basically all it says is that um, that you're going to learn the history of Mississippi. And the name of the episode is called White Knight. So it wasn't too hard to figure out exactly what it's going to be about. So I think this is going to be a really interesting episode because we're going to get to really learn about, you know, Keyshawn and where, uh, you know, in her story and, you know, what's been going on with her and how she got into the situation that she is in. Yeah. So before we go ahead and get started talking about Keyshawn, I want to go ahead and just jump to some of the other parts of the trailer because in that trailer we did see uh something that was kind of interesting Wody actually winks at you know he's winking and I'm not really sure who he's winking at but we do know from this whole dirty dozen tour that they love playing this game I forgot what the name of the game is don't hold me on that one y'all but they love playing this game where you wink and then you have to die like 30 seconds later and then he winks so I don't know if this means somebody gonna die in this episode I have no clue but I I believe that it's really important, you know, him winking. So I guess we shall see. And then also in the same, uh, in the previous episode, we see, you know, the blue guap dude, uh, Rome, he's talking to, you know, Mississippi and he's just letting her know, hey, I got your back, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then you kind of see Wody kind of lurking around the corner. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this is all just kind of leading up to something, you know, maybe to something big, you know, not really sure exactly what is going to be big, but it does seem like it is going to be leading up to something really, really big. Now, y'all, let's get back to Keyshawn. Now, Blue Guap, dude, he definitely uh, changes his tune in this particular trailer. You can see that he's getting a little more possessive. I mean, even as we were looking at the last episode when they were on the tour, you can see that he was getting a little possessive then, but he's definitely getting a lot more possessive now. I mean, he just basically tells her in that, you know, that little scene that we've seen in the trailer, you know, that she got to go make this money. Now, the dude clearly has no idea was really going on in her home but not only that like where is the common sense you know this woman has kids at home and she's been gone for two weeks so you know what I'm saying you can't just go out for another two weeks uh you know as her manager you got to make sure that she's able to get back to her kids and take care of her kids and stuff like that so I'm not really sure it just feels like blue guap wrong whatever his name is it just feels like he just on one and I ain't gonna lie I ain't really feeling his character at all at all but anywho we shall see uh what happens with him because I don't think he really gonna last long especially since Wody has been paying attention and the way he's been throwing these little slugs at Wody about murder and you know when he was talking about that publishing I just feel like uh Rome just don't last too much long it's called White Knight so maybe you know it's gonna be about you know showing us kind of how she um you know like I said got into this whole situation you know because he probably showed her one thing and you know he probably saved her from some situation I mean honestly I don't know exactly you know what I I 
don't really have a thought process as to exactly what it was that he saved her from, but I'm pretty sure just, you know, that he saved her from something. And then that turned into what we see now, this possessiveness, this abuse and all of this other stuff. Um, so I think that at some point we are going to see Mississippi probably take her power back um, and probably get out of this situation. But I don't know. I think it's going to I think it's going to take something to really happen to really get her to move on from this situation or to get out of this situation. Now, in you know, in this scene, we kind of see um, who I would assume is Mississippi, because like I said, this episode is all about her, who I would assume is her. Uh, and she's uh, looks like there's a crib back there. And I don't know. It looks like a lot of flowers. I'm not really sure what's going on in this episode. And I am very interested to know exactly what's happening. Um, but because it's going to be her history, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with her, maybe her past. I'm sure we're going to be doing a lot of traveling back into the past with this episode. Honestly, we probably not going to see a lot of the other characters in this one. But once again, I'm here for it. I'm here for learning about her history and learning, um, you know, where she came from. And to be honest, I'm just ready to get to the episode where everybody just kiss and make up because I really feel like they need Mississippi back at the club. If the pink is going to survive, I just really feel like she's going to be that missing piece that's going to help them when it's all said and done. So anyway, we shall see. Um, I thought that it felt like you know, during this whole Dirty Dozen tour, she felt a little more free. But at the same time, you can see that when Derek was calling and all that type of stuff, you can kind of feel that weight of the world kind of, you know, coming down on her. So, OK, y'all. So that is what's up with the trailer for season two, episode five. Let me know what you thought about the trailer. Let me know what you think about, you know, them moving to telling us this story, especially after such an explosive episode. And then bringing us to this episode where we're kind of going to go learn the history of Mississippi, which probably is going to be more of a tame episode. So let me know what you think about all of this. Start the conversation down in the comments. And until next time, peace.